hey guys so what's up how you guys doing so um today was supposed to be a lazy day for me like i just told myself that i i can't do this anymore <laughs> like i can't keep waking up and going to bed you know busy 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 all day every day i said that today i was just going to take just i was just going to rest i'm just going to sleep eat you know watch watch a movie watch series i started watching a new series well it's not a new series but i just started watching it newly it's kim's convenience it's a comedy just a just a light-hearted you know comedy family comedy and all of that anyway um but turns out no i had i cannot i cannot switch off mommy mode like i cannot <laughs> as long as i'm in this house i can't switch off mommy mode so basically i had to make sophia's hair because let me just confess i feel somehow saying this but through confession <laughs> i haven't combed sophia's hair in the past five months okay so hear me out i detangled the hair i packed put the hair in sections and just pack it but an actual comb going through her hair i haven't done that since a very long time i think the last time i even did it, i actually said it on this channel and that was a while ago over five months actually i have not combed her hair and her father has been you know dropping cryptic comments here and there things saying things like um your mother wants you to have that <laughs> I say, if I was one of those kind of superstitious people here, yeah, I would have actually said that my child is Dada or a prophet or whatever. Because if you touch her hair, the scream, the shout, like it was, it's not easy to make her hair. Even putting her hair in sections, that is just packing her hair that we do. Sometimes I just, I start and I don't finish it because of how she'll be shaking her head. I try to do it while she's asleep, but if she's asleep and if you're spraying water on her head, no wahala. But when you're trying to just detangle her hair or even comb it, she will wake up and start shaking her head and start crying. Um, so anyway, yeah, her father has been dropping cryptic comments. He even said, he was even telling me today or yesterday that wouldn't I just cut her hair? It's better for me to just cut her hair and then start again when she's much older. And I was like, nope, it's not possible. I can't cut my child's hair. Cora, I even had chop chop hair up and down. I did not cut it. It's not this one that has full hair. Like her hair is so full. Like in fact, even to detangle her hair, you need to go to the roots and start bringing out hair because you know the hair has shrunk on and it's very very coily anyway and her hair is quite long if you see the girl's hair i put it in thread i'll bring her so that you guys will see her hair is quite long so i told him it's not even possible i can't cut my child's hair <laughs> it's, not, it's not gonna happen so i just told myself that you know what all these scripted messages are dropping right left right and center if you want to talk to me talk to me direct stop going through the corners but anyway <laughs> anyway i decided to just make her hair today let me both bring her and show you guys Hi guys! Hi. <laughs> uh, see her lovely nightwear. Actually, we are both wearing our nightwears. Um, yeah, she has had a bath. Look at her hair. I have to make thread for her. So her hair stopped somewhere here. Like her hair is actually quite long, Sha. Her hair stopped somewhere here. We just added a little bit extra. So when we cut it, we don't cut her hair. But this girl has long hair for her age. Hmm. Uh, is my camera I ah! used to, uh, before our internet uncles and aunties come for me this is not tight at all like at all like i didn't even try to hold the roots okay i didn't even try to hold the roots you guys can see it's not tight at all though so don't go and say i just made thread for her baby let me to go and make thread for my baby and then you now cut off your baby's hair <laughs> hmm? you now cut off your baby's hair this, this is not tight at all you guys this hair took my whole day literally like she had two naps in between i had to make her hair at some point she'll be crying i'll have to leave her start again but eventually we made it work pa. Pa. Da. you guys christmas is coming everywhere's getting dark yes christmas is coming and i'm so excited like to me yes it's okay eh yeah to me, we're in Christmas season already. Like I'm already getting ready, like seriously getting ready for Christmas, and I'm so excited that it's my favorite time of the year. It's not even my birthday. My favorite time of the year is actually Christmas time. So I'm so excited. <laughs> so okay, leave me, alone. leave me alone. Stay. I love you. You love me. We are happy family with a great big hug. And you kiss from me to you. <laughs> this girl, eh? she can play rough play one day ever. Hmm? Like her sister, ever. Stop it. Stay. Stay. 
Don't you say you love me too? I love you. Hi guys, so I just came back from the supermarket at the market. It's actually past eight. I just woke up this morning and I know I have to go to the market. I've been putting off going to the markets and supermarkets for a while. So today I realized that I don't even have a choice. So immediately I woke up, I just wore this my this is my equivalent of Jarabia, okay? <laughs> and my cap. I just wore it and I dashed out of the house. I went to the supermarket and I went to the market. So I'm about to cook. I want to cook lunch and dinner at once. Well, not really, but yeah, I want to cook lunch. So we're having beans for lunch and we're having unripe plantain pottage for dinner. Maybe I'll show you guys the unripe plantain pottage because I've shown you guys how I cook my beans. My beans always has orish orish inside. Plantain, potato, yam if there's yam, vegetable if there's vegetable, um, fish if there's fish. But I always, it, it's always more than just beans. Um, you guys have seen that one. So I'll show you guys the plantain pottage when I cook it. But yeah, I'm baffled by something here. Eh? Okay. So there's this supermarket that just opened recently that I went to and their prices are amazing and then today it just got me thinking because today i forgot and i went to the normal market the normal supermarket i always go to when i now saw the price of one item i was just like ah i remember why i stopped coming here let me go down because the one that i'm talking about is where their prices are amazing it's quite far so i feel like i'm just rambling like i'm not making sense see anyhow you guys should just forgive me i'm not even in the <laughs> right frame of mind right now anyway so i now drove down to that supermarket you know the new one that opened and prices are just fantastic like this bread custard this bread custard now this i wanted to buy custard because it's been a while since we drank custard i mean sophia drinks pap so we've been drinking pap since the first supermarket i went to which is one i normally go to before it was they were selling it 1100 but this new supermarket it was 780 like the price difference is a lot okay this cornflakes they sell it 2000 something or 3000 something i got it 2000 something but they sell it 3000 something in some places this is bigger kellogg's it's not the small one um this sophia's milk the first supermarket i went to this is sma pro the first supermarket i went to they sell it 7300 in fact that was the price i saw and i remember that ah it's true i stopped coming here because of this they sell it 7300 but in the new supermarket they sell it 6600 and I'm just like, how? Like, 6,600, like, that's almost, that's 800, is it 800? Yeah, 800 on, on, or 700 Naira difference. That's a lot. So, it is either the supermarket is being truthful and they are selling things for the normal prices or they are cutting down their prices to get customers. I don't know how it works, but I have a feeling that they're just being truthful because a lot of supermarkets, a lot of supermarkets, especially in Port Harcourt, are very, very outrageous. In fact, supermarkets around Nigeria, their prices are usually very outrageous, but we just buy because, okay, we are lazy, we don't enter normal markets. But this one, it seems like their prices are true to, you know, true to what it's supposed to be, at least for now. Maybe when they start getting customers now, they will increase their prices, who knows? I'm just going to show you guys how I prepare my unripe plantain pottage. And I love it so much. Let me know if you guys like it. I know some, some people don't like it. In, in fact, growing up, I don't think I really liked it that much because maybe because of the way the people used to cook it then. But the way me, I cook mine, I don't cook just pure unripe. I add unripe plantain, half ripe plantain, and maybe one ripe plantain okay the reason why i add just one ripe plantain is that it adds a little bit of sweetness to the food if you put too much ripe plantain you're not gonna like it so i put a lot of unripe plantain then a little bit of um half ripe and then one you know real ripe plantain okay and by real ripe not overripe but just normal ripe plantain um yeah then i add fish i add scent leaf i add ugo anyway let me just show you guys okay <laughs>
see her kids face. So guys, I want to give you guys a little bit of farm update. In fact, this vlog is going to be update vlog. I want to give you guys a little bit of farm update. So, a couple of people have asked me about my farm. How is it doing? My garden, basically. I call it a farm, but it's, yeah, it's farm, garden, all join. Anyway, so, a couple of people have asked me how far. So, that is my garden. Can you guys see? Yeah, so with this garden, a lot of things went wrong. That's part of why I haven't really been talking much about the garden. Um, we're going to rectify it soon, but well, next year actually I'll rectify it because I don't even have that energy right now. So many things are occupying my time right now. But anyway, um, some things have been flourishing, some things are doing well. So the things that are doing well are my scent leaf, spinach, um, ugu, green, um shoko um what i leave what i leave it does well whether i like it or not mint leaves um bitter leaf basically veggies you know all my most of my veggies are doing very well um yeah i'm just sit down small this gets heavy so um the farm just needs to be weeded right now but the major issue is that the people behind us okay before behind us was just a fallow land but they started building in the land behind us and then while they were building and extending the fence i don't know how these people did it but cement was poured into my farm like a lot i'm going to show you guys in a couple of minutes you know but or second whatever but yeah cement they put a lot of cement in my farm it destroyed so many crops in fact i was so pissed when i saw it there and initially when they were doing the work they were doing and i saw that cement was dropping here i had to warn them that you guys should be careful this is somebody else's property and someone else's farm these are actually vegetables so you can't just be throwing cement anyhow people should be careful they said oh sorry ma sorry ma sorry ma okay only for me to come back one day like i mean I'm, I, I won't come and stand here and be, be supervising them all day now it's not my work yeah so a lot of plants have to go because of cement that just destroyed them um yeah so that's why i haven't really been doing much on my farm but we still get stuff from here like the food i want to cook this evening now i'm going to get the veggies from here scent leaf and ugu i'm getting it from my farm but yeah that's just what happened okay nigeria happened to my farm <laughs> nigeria basically happened to my farm inconsiderate neighbors basically happen but next year i'm sure they're not going to be doing much next year which is they've not even finished building that's part of why i just said let me just rest because i know that they're not going to yeah, um, they're going to pour more things into this my compound so i'm just waiting next year um when they are done with their building i'm going to get someone to scrape off all the cement that poured into this place and then i would have to buy soil and then just replenish the soil here and start planting again but that's next year's project so this is the building that's going on just behind my compound and this is my compound you guys this is okay so this is the boys quarters um granted nobody stays here but just look at behind the boys quarters look at cement just know that this is because of this ceiling that's why you're seeing this if the ceiling wasn't here it would have been more so there's plenty of cement on the ceiling um yeah just look at the cement now let me create the lighting so this is even more cement this is cement this is my garden eggs um so yeah these are my garden eggs i had to i didn't even harvest anymore just look at this big one but because of the cement that i put on it there's no point harvesting this i feel like i'm eating poison okay just see how how many we lost they grew very they grew very well look at more they've changed color because we didn't harvest them um yeah so everywhere here is covered in cement this is weed i didn't even bother weeding it again because i just i just gave up um I just gave up these are my scent leaves yeah scent leaves were really covered in cement Are you seeing it yeah so even our tap look at that tap head that's where we used to water the farm um there's a lot this, this rain has even washed away some of it it's like if you can see here you see stones inside here and um, this is ugo this one is going okay but see there's even cement on it but see these are my mint leaves are you guys seeing cement on it this is how far it came 
this thing is at it's towards the end of my farm on this mint leaves and you can see that there's cement on it so basically so yeah let me not lie i felt really really bad like so bad and so discouraged because i put in a lot of effort into this farm um yeah i felt really bad and really discouraged and the funny thing is that i didn't even go there to go and confront them or anything because i'm just like this is Nigeria, I'm not going to come off it. Highest thing they'll tell you is sorry. It's not like they're going to pay for the damages or do anything. Highest thing they'll tell you, oh, sorry, we didn't know. It's the workers, it's this one. They'll start shifting blame. So I just did not even bother. That's the same way I don't bother when people hit me on the road. If I'm driving on the road and a car hits me, I just keep going. I don't even stop because only God knows who you are and who sent you. So I don't even stop when they hit me on the road. So that's just how, so that's just how I took this place. As I saw, I just like, let me just count my losses and move on. There's no point going to shout because nothing will come of it. I know that one for a fact. Anyway, let me even stop looking before I vex even more. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.